But I'm curious if you had an opportunity to watch the uh, the, the dog and pony show that Trey Gowdy is running over in, uh, on Capitol Hill today. I did, uh, in part, and I have to tell you, it proved the, the validity of the ethics complaint that I filed against Trey Gowdy and against Kevin McCarthy after McCarthy um, confessed uh, that uh, there was a political motivation behind the Benghazi committee. But I, I think it's perfectly obvious at this point they haven't had a single hearing since January. They postponed the Clinton hearing until it coincides with the beginning of the Democratic presidential debates. Mm-hmm. Uh, they've spent almost $5 million on the committee, uh, even though nine other congressional committees already have investigated and in most cases issued detailed reports. And I'll just tell you personally, when this first came up, because I'm on the Foreign Affairs Committee, I took the trouble before uh, Hillary Clinton testified before me and other members of the committee, I took the trouble to read every classified document uh, that relates to this, all of the emails that people have been talking about, uh, all of the, the diplomatic cables that were sent, the reports, and so on. And I can tell you for a fact, she didn't do anything wrong. Yeah. Uh, and and it, it's appalling not only to see this kind of political witch hunt, but to see a political witch hunt conducted with taxpayer money. And that's where the ethics violation. Yeah, it's against uh, the law. So, so where's the ethics uh, violate or the ethics uh, complaint at? Is the is the House going to have to respond to this? Have they responded? We filed it with the Office of Congressional Ethics. Uh, we got the standard acknowledgement that you get when you file a complaint with them. They normally don't take any action for a month or sometimes two months mm-hmm. uh, after a complaint's filed. Well, they try to learn about the facts of the case, and we'll just have to wait and see. But I I I, I have to tell you that anybody who spent any time watching. Uh, the, the the hearings today, I'm sure, came away with the conclusion that this is, despite what Craig Gowdy said, all about Hillary Clinton. Yeah. All about the fact that she's the leading Democratic presidential candidate in the polls. All about the fact that Republicans are unscrupulous enough to use taxpayer money to destroy her. Yeah. All you had to do was watch Jim Jordan's uh, uh, speech. <laughs> it's amazing. Congressman Alan Grayson, the congressman with guts, a great guy. Congressman, thank you for dropping by and thanks for the great job that you're doing uh, representing not just Florida, but all of us. Thank you, Tom. Great talking. Mm-hmm.